A new book is fueling extra speculation about Team Biden's internal frustrations with Vice President Kamala Harris. Here's a bit. Quote, the idea that Harris was going to use her powers of persuasion to help get Biden's agenda through Congress was a joke to Biden's team. Ouch. And it goes on. I was surprised to learn how few Democrats even like Harris, let alone respect her. There's plenty of negative chatter behind the scenes, but few dare speak publicly for fear of being branded a racist or a sexist. And we've heard that, and we've heard that defense more than once. I do think sexism and racism are, are, are part of the agree. problem, no question about it. Most people don't know what vice presidents do, and now she is a history maker. She is a woman, she is a black woman, and it's the easy thing to do to say she's the attack dog, go after her. Our expectations are set for the traditional white male vice president. If you think about how she is castigated, there it is inextricably linked to race and gender. Okay, just pause there for a second. Most people don't know what vice presidents do. Doing black is not a job role. All right. A real clear politics poll shows more than 55% of voters give her an unfavorable rating. Tammy Bruce, Fox News contributor, president of American Spirit Enterprises, is in focus now. Doing something that you are immutably is not a job category. Right, it's not. That's insulting. It, it's insulting and it doesn't help uh, other black women, other women of color who no. are moving up. Because these are important initial roles as role models, whether it's Claudine Gay or whether it's Kamala Harris, is that these are important roles. Young women of color, young women in general need to see women in power. But All over. once you are there, you have a job to do. And this is the problem with what has been happening. The, the willingness of Democrats to allow this to occur, to put a woman in a position with either not defining it for her or not liking her in the beginning, like the, the remark that they, it was a joke to them, then why are you choosing her? You, if you're mm. going to you choose the right person for this dynamic. Because you wanted credit for making her a victor. Well, and now she becomes a victim because she's not you know, the audience won't like this, but Stacey Abrams... Well, they didn't like that either. But Stacey Abrams, who I don't politically at all, of course, don't like, but you, she makes her points. She is clear in what it is she intends to do. Now, you might, you, you're not going to like Democrat policies or what they want to accomplish, but the Democrats and the DEI left seem to choose people who can't deliver at all and then forbid this conversation as though they can't handle it. Mm. That's the racism. And it does, it does Harris no good, it does Gay no good, it does no one any good, it, no, certainly not women, because this country is suffering, women are suffering, girls are suffering, the economy and everything else, the border, sex trafficking, that affects women and children. And yet the women who would understand that... And be able to speak up with a platform. Correct. It would, and not that men couldn't understand it. Of course they would. They're in word saladville. But certain women are going to get a different kind of attention. And we've lost that. And that's the shame of it all. The Democrats have better talent. And they don't choose them for some reason. Because I... they don't conform. Because they're independent women. The smarter, you know, real focused women are thinking for themselves, and that is not what the I don't Democrat agree Party that they wants. have better talent. I mean, Republicans through the years, Sandra Day O'Connor was, I mean, very gifted. It, I don't agree that better they have better talent, talent than Harris but and... when one makes a mistake on the right side of the aisle, mm -hmm. it's a different sort of a... Yeah, because it's based on merit. Correct. On the left side of the aisle, everybody comes out to save that person because it was never based on merit. It was that a is bit, correct. It was about box checking, and it doesn't help particularly young men and women, because but they get this false sense that they don't really have to meet expectations That to you go don't forward. have to deliver. But yeah. better in that, even as liberals, we don't see those women because the Democrat machine doesn't choose them because they might be wow. hard to handle, because they make their own minds up, because they aren't going to conform. Is that why your show is called Get Tammy Brew? Right, exactly. <laughs> Okay. Thank you. It's so good to see you. Thank you. Thanks. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.